Hello again, it is I, Derek from Tomcat Cash Training, and welcome to another ACS revision in less than 10 minutes. Hopefully. Now this one is on open flues. So, without further ado, waffling and messing around because I've only got 10 minutes, let's get on with it. Now, according to the standards, we uh, now classify flues as A, B or C. A is um, flueless, B is open flued, and C is room sealed. So we're going to look at type B appliances, open flued. So we can have open flued boilers, we can have open flued water heaters, we can have open flued fires. We don't have open flued cookers, they're flueless. Anyway, let's start off by having a look at the different components on an open flued boiler. So let's look here. So the first one you're going to see is the primary flue. So what's the primary flue? Well, basically that's built into the appliance where the manufacturer funnels the products of combustion to get ready for going out of the appliance. The next one we've got is the draft diverter. So what's the draft diverter and what does, what does it do? Well, it does three main things, the draft diverter. First of all, if we get downdraft coming down the flue, it will push the products of combustion away from the burner so it doesn't affect the pilot or the burner. Also what it does is, it allows fresh air into the flue system as the boiler is running to dilute the products of combustion. And then finally, it stops excessive flue pull. So if the flue is pulling too much, it might lift off the burner and lift the pilot light, so it breaks that as well. So the draft diverter is incredibly important and it can either be external, like this one. So this is an external draft diverter. So you can see this is where the flue would be connected and you can see the baffle on the inside. This is where it would be connected to the appliance. And this is where we would do flue flow test and spillage. And if we add excessive pull, then this is where it would be broken. If we need to dilute the air, this is where it comes in. And then if we had downdraft, it would come out here. So that's an external draft diverter, but a lot of them are built into the appliance. So now coming off the draft diverter, the next part of the flue system is the secondary flue. Now the secondary flue is your twin wall flue system. This kind of stuff. So this is twin wall. So we call it twin wall because the internal part is where the products of combustion go. The external part is an air gap. So it stops you getting burnt when you touch it. So this secondary flue, a few things. So you can see here now, we have to have a minimum of 600 mil from the draft diverter to the first bend. Okay, that's important. Then after that, we've got a, the flue elbows. Now the flue elbows cannot have more of an angle than 45 degrees. We cannot have horizontal length. So we can't have 90 degree elbows because it will cause problems with the pole and condensation problems. So that's why no horizontal parts. And if you come across boilers now with horizontal parts, or not 600, so the first bend, then uh, it's at risk now on open fluid appliances. So the next thing about this flue system is it does have to be this twin wall now. We can't have flue liner connecting to an open fluid boiler unless it's a back boiler in a builder's opening. Also in the loft, it can't be flue liner. It has to be a twin wall flue system. We also can't use single wall flue systems now in the loft system. So going to the ridge terminal, it will have to be twin wall pipe or it's at risk. When you're using this twin wall flue system and you're connecting to the appliance, you must use an appliance adapter. So you're only sealing the inner flue system to the appliance, not the outer flue system. Also, you must follow the arrows on the flue system so you don't install it upside down. Also, you can see the clips. So the maximum clipping distance we can have is every change of direction and no more than 1.8 meters apart. Now, a lot of condensing boilers now will give you a maximum spacing of a meter. You need to read the manufacturer's instructions for that, but that's not for twin wall, that's 1.8 meters. Now, you can see also the minimum length or the minimum height for uh, an open fluid appliance is three meters. 
the maximum height is um, manufacturer's instructions. So just have a look out for that. Okay, so that's basically the secondary flue. Then finally attached to the secondary flue here at the top is the terminal. Now the slots or the holes in the terminal must allow the passing of a 6mm ball but not a 16mm ball. So <laughs> that's where we uh, get with that. So that's the major components of this open flue boiler. We've got the primary flue, we've got the draft diverter, we've got the secondary flue and then we've got the terminal. So now let's have a look on this side here, when we're exiting the building, let's see what the positions for this open flued flue pipe needs to be off this boiler. So the first thing you can see is the positioning of the flue off the pitch of the roof. And from the side of the flue to the roof on a horizontal plane, you need more than 1.5 meters away. And at the top here, we need to go above the ridge more than 600. So they're the major things you've got to look out for for open fluid appliances when they're exiting through the roof. Also, like this one here, where the minimum height is three meters, here you can see the maximum length you can have outside the property without being insulated is three meters. So if you've got more than three meter length outside, it must be insulated twin wall pipe, not just using the air gap of the twin wall. And like here, where we've got the Velux window, and these measurements are also the same for a room sealed appliance. So if you look at the bottom of the window, we need a two meters without any flue. So you can see the shaded area around there that's where you're not allowed to have the flue. So 600 to the side, 600 at the top, 600 to the side and two meters down at the bottom. So that rectangle around the window, you're not allowed to put the flue system in there. So that's what you've got to look out for for Velux windows. And like I say, that's also for room sealed appliances. And then finally on this flue system, they uh, need to be at least 25 millimetres away from combustible material. And if you're going through floors, then we'll need fire stops to stop any spread of fire going through there with the flu system. So that's the main things you need to worry about with an open flued boiler. But obviously it also needs ventilation, and I've done loads of videos on ventilation, but as the rule of thumb for these uh, boilers, it's the net kilowatt minus a seven times a five if it's in a room and if it's in a compartment, you don't minus a seven. But like I say, loads of videos on ventilation, check those out. So finally, for fires, open fluid fires. Let's have a look here for the size of the flue. So the cross sectional area for a round flue is 12,000 millimeters squared. And then for the rectangled one, it's 16,500 millimetres squared, even though I've written metres. It's not metres, it's millimetres. I've missed the M off. Dyslexia. <laughs> the final, final thing on the fires is the maximum flue length, which we've got here. So the maximum flue length for a fire internally is 12 metres and externally is 10 metres. But remember, if it does go outside and it's longer than three meters, it still needs to be insulated. So that's my look at ACS revision in less than 10 minutes. Hopefully I've done it in less than 10 minutes for open fluid fluid systems. So if you've liked this video, why don't you give me that thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe because it helps. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because we release videos mainly on Mondays and Wednesdays. All I've got left to say is, if there's any more of these 10 minute videos you want me to do, just drop it in the comments below. But thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one guys. Cheers.